Can I get your name, your title and the institution you represent? Sure. My name is uh, pretty Dutch, it's Pierre van Zonneveld. Uh, translated, it's uh, Pierre uh, van Solarfield, so it's a pretty uh, useful name in this case. Uh, my function in the team is a team leader and also responsible for uh, sponsoring, sponsorship. Uh, I'm also, like the other 12 people from my team, a student from the Technical University in Delft. A bit about you personally, what got you into engineering? Um, well, as a little kid I was always, uh, just like uh, many of the team members I have, very interested in everything that moved, worked, had some kind of mechanism. And also in electronics I was very interested. So uh, then later on I decided I wanted to do, definitely wanted to do something in uh, the technical area. And uh, well, I wanted to do the best university that Delft or Holland has, which is Delft. What sort of engineering are you studying? Uh, well, my study is industrial design engineering, and it's a, a pretty uh, wide study, and that for me works out perfect. How do you bring those skills to the Solar Challenge team? Well, uh, many people in Delft see uh, the study industrial design engineering as the link between different studies. And um, in, uh, in my team, it's a multidisciplinary team, so there are many students from different studies. And I think that um, a person from the uh, faculty of industrial design engineering is perfect as someone who could uh, supervise these people, lead them and point them in the right directions if needed. So what's your role in the team? Well as a team leader I'm, I'm responsible or, um, and responsible and so uh, uh, I have to make sure that everyone uh, keeps to uh, their appointments, deadlines uh, but also to uh, contracts that we've made with different sponsors, uh, deals we've made, stuff like that. And uh, mainly, uh, besides that, mainly my job is uh, to uh, raise enough money by sponsorship so that the team can do their work without being bothered by that. You're actually out here in Australia two months before the Solar Challenge. So what are you going to do in those two months? Are you going to do a bit of sightseeing? Uh, yes, we hope to do some sightseeing, but mainly we have to work here. Uh, we're here now in Adelaide and, uh, of course, the race starts in Darwin. Uh, we got a couple of rental cars and we're going to do the, the race is from north to south but we're going to drive this road from south to north just to uh, make ourselves familiar with the road that we have to race later. How important is it to have a history in challenges for a team? I mean if a team was to come in green, a new team, would they have a significant handicap? In my opinion yes definitely. Uh, if you look at our cars, our our concept is a proven concept, if you ask me. Um, if you look at our history, the, the many ones that we've, ha that we've made. And, uh, but every car in our uh, history is an improvement of the previous car. So it would be impossible uh, for us to design a car that's like the Nuna 6 within a year. So yeah, we based our car on the previous cars and therefore are able to uh, build a very competitive car. One of the goals, as I understand it, of the, the solar challenges is to push the technologies to come up with ways that eventually will lead to the production of an, an everyday solar car. How far off is that day? Um, unfortunately, the cars that have been produced so far that work on, on mainly solar power aren't very practical. Uh, we most of the times compare ourselves to the Formula One whereas uh, no, one, no one will do grocery shopping in a Formula One car, unfortunately, actually. But, uh, so no one will also do grocery shopping in a uh, solar car. Uh, but we do think that, as in Formula One, uh, many technologies that we use could be implemented in designing cars uh, that could be driven within a few years. So, are you going to win? Uh, yes. We are, we are here. We are here back for gold. And we are back for taking the car back to Delft where it belongs. <laughs> well, all the best and I hope that in a couple of months time I'll be sitting here having a beer with you as the winners. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.